All right. Hello, friends. Let's see. Okay. If you can tell, we're in a little bit of a tight spot today. But I've been really dying to showcase some of my dad's really cool motorcycles. And this difficulty of pulling one out of this motorcycle soup was not going to stop me. Uh, I didn't move it though because my biggest fear was moving one of these bad boys and then completely having a domino effect. I would die. Actually, I would just drive down to Mexico, say farewell to my current existence and just live out my days there. Mm -hmm. It'd be that mortifying. So what we're going to look at today, it was kind of at the, I really wanted to cover the chief, but I'd like to actually get that one out. So I'm going to see if I can work with get my sister to help me move some of these around, but I did not think it was a good idea with just me here single-handedly. So instead, we are gonna cover this pretty epic Harley Davidson Aramaki race bike. It is, uh, aesthetically, it's probably one of my favorite motorcycles in here. It's just cool looking, it looks super cool. You'll see that in a second, I'll show you all around it. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, what in the world is Aramaki? Well, it was an Italian, Airplane Manufacturing Company, did I say that right? Airplane Manufacturing Company, all right, there we go, uh, that primarily created seaplanes for uh, the Italian war effort. And then after World War II, they decided to go ahead and start making scooters, motorcycles. You saw a lot of companies do that at the time. Then in like nine, you're like, well, how did Arlie Davidson get involved in this? In 1960 or so, Harley Davidson was feeling a little bit of pressure from imported, uh, quick and imported motorcycles, uh, Japanese especially. So they were like, hey, we really need to buy something to, we can, you know, like start to make our more capable, fast, quick little bikes. Then they bought 50% of Air Maki and they were bringing these over in the 60s and calling them like Air Maki Sprints, et cetera, et cetera. In this one, and most of the ones that were brought over, it's a 250cc engine that was very easy to tune for racing. So it was a pretty big success. Now, let's go ahead and let me see if I can give you a little look uh, around this motorcycle without causing any damages or any kind of a domino effect, because what a horrific moment that would be. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. tell me that I had grease all over my forehead right here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refilm that and take the grease off my face I just don't care enough to do that <laughs> so if you like this motorcycle we actually sadly have it up for auction sadly for me happy for you I'll have it on the Corpus Christi old car museum auction that is coming up quite rapidly October 4th and 5th there is no reserve uh, I feel all these motorcycles are going to be in it and I feel like we have about 30 or so just right here all of them no reserve as well ah, it's gonna be quite a wild day I'll tell you that much if you wanted to see the full catalog you should go to worldwideauctioneers.com check out the Corpus Christi old car museum auction we got a lot of them up there full information full description full everything you know history all that fun stuff all right, I hope you have a good day. 